and welcome. Today I'm going to be wet turning this piece of eucalyptus. It's a round, so it is an end grain turning. I'm going to do a wet turn bowl and uh, it measures 18 inches at its widest point, but I think the bowl will end up, because it's uneven, it's around 16 inches uh, diameter and it's five and a half inches thick. So. I don't like screwing face plates into end grain, so what I'll be doing is turning between centres, truing it up, and then putting a tenon on one end, and not forgetting to make that tenon bigger than I really want because of warpage, etc., as it's drying. And I'm aiming to leave the walls at around an inch or so thick and as even as possible to aid the drying process. Okay, so. Without further ado, let's get turning this large, wet eucalyptus bowl. I think an important point to mention, especially for the newer turner, when doing a wet turning like this, I always wax the uh, bedways and I leave the wax on. I don't buff it off and put curtains up around to stop the shavings going everywhere. And a very important point to remember is that when you finish that wet turning, make sure that you wipe all the shavings off the bedways, give them a good clean and another wax again to save any rust setting in. Just thought it worthy of mention. I'll be using uh, Paul Hadley's centre finder to get the, the best position for the points to go. And there we go. That'll give me the most wood, hopefully. Uh, a point to note as well, I'll be using my large four inch uh, gripper jaws because they've got a serrated in, uh, inside the jaw there and that grips down nicely on the fibres. And I like that with wet wood. It gives a really good hold. OK, so it's going to nibble away. I'm doing just under 300 RPM. And as you can see, it's well out of balance. And I'm using a half inch bowl gouge. Just going to get the edge as true as I can. Nice, easy strokes. So the step centre is keep slipping its moorings. I thought I might get away with it, but I can't. So what I'm going to do now is replace it with a four prong drive and I'm going to give it a good old um, meaty bang into the wood. And then we'll put that into the spindle and hopefully we'll get a stronger hold. OK, so I've got the edge um, to a stage now where I'm actually turning at about 390 RPM. Now, my next uh, task is to even up the two faces. Now, the reason they're so out of kilter is that gave me the best diameter of the bowl in the end. So I'm going to get this face nice and level. Then I'll work with the back face, and that should really give me a nice increase in RPM so I can start to shape and put the tenon on.
So that's the outside of the bowl, uh, roughly shaped. I'm going to spin it around, put it into the chuck and uh, hollow out the inside, leaving about an inch thick walls. Well, that's it. It's been rough turned and it's about 15 inches and what I'll do now is pack it away in its shavings and some brown paper and in a few months time we'll take it out and have a look. It shouldn't warp as much as a uh, side grain orientated bowl because it is end grain. So we'll have a look at it again in about three or four months time. Well, thank you very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.